The White House was hit by a sudden attack by a mysterious mutant. He is agile, able to scale walls and even teleport. After easily dealing with numerous bodyguards, Nightcrawler pounced on the president. He pulled out a dagger with his tail, and just as he was about to assassinate the president, he was shot by a bodyguard from behind. Nightcrawler had no choice but to flee the scene in embarrassment, putting mutants in a dangerous position. Charles realized the seriousness of the situation and decided to personally investigate. Charles didn't know who besides Eric would target the president. Charles went to the mutant search room and successfully located Nightcrawler, sending Storm and Jean to capture him. The president started to reconsider mutants and wanted to pass legislation. At this time, Colonel Stryker, in charge of mutant affairs, found the president and presented him with a stack of information about the academy. He suspected that the mutant who assassinated the president came from there and that Charles might be the mastermind. Besides Eric, only Charles had the ability. Stryker hoped the president would send him to investigate. And although hesitant, the president agreed to Stryker's request. The president gave him the authority to search for and detain mutants, but requested that no harm be done to any mutants. After receiving the authority, Stryker did not immediately go to the academy, but instead went to the plastic prison and knocked out Eric. He then dropped a drop of liquid on Eric's neck, causing him to wake up and listen to Stryker's words. Eric told Stryker all the secrets about the brainwave enhancing machine. Stryker was the one controlling Nightcrawler and orchestrating the assassination of the president. Logan learned from Charles that the laboratory in his dreams was in a military camp in the Canadian Rockies. When Logan arrived, he found the lab had become a wasteland, so he disappointedly returned to the Mutant Academy. Upon his return, Logan encountered Jean and Storm, who were preparing to capture Nightcrawler. From them, Logan learned about the mutant assassination of the president, but he didn't care. Based on the location provided by Charles, Storm and Jean successfully found Nightcrawler, the one who assassinated the president. However, Nightcrawler had no knowledge of his own assassination of the president because he was being controlled and his memories prior to entering the White House had been erased. Storm and Jean noticed a strange wound on his neck, as if he had been injected with something. They decided to bring him back to the school to see Charles. Mystique secretly searched for Eric's whereabouts, disguised as the deceased Kelly and mingled with the president. She finally found clues about Eric's confinement. That night, Mystique disguised herself as Stryker's assistant and infiltrated his office, successfully stealing all the information about the plastic prison. Just as she was about to leave, she noticed a folder on the computer desktop about building a brainwave-enhancing machine. Mystique wanted to see the specific location but found that a password was needed. At that moment, the real assistant was about to arrive at the office, so Mystique had to disguise herself as a janitor and hastily escape the scene with the documents. Charles was worried about the safety of Storm and the others, so he went to the plastic prison to visit Eric. Charles questioned whether Eric was involved in the attack on the president, but he found out that Eric had been manipulated by Stryker. Just as Charles was surprised, the prison suddenly released a hypnotic gas. Charles wanted to call for Scott's help, but it was already too late. Seeing the situation was not right, Scott hurriedly tried to rush in to save people, but was attacked and knocked unconscious. Meanwhile, Stryker led a large number of special forces in a raid on Xavier's school. With the main force of the X-Men not present at the school, only Logan remained. Just as a soldier was about to launch a surprise attack, Logan quickly dealt with him from behind. Logan walked out of the room and continued to deal with the special forces. Colossus, after being awakened, transformed decisively and easily took care of the special forces with his strong body. Leading the remaining students, they escaped outdoors through a secret door, facing the continuously reinforced enemy troops. Logan showed no fear. But when he saw Stryker's figure, he retracted his steel claws because he was too eager to know the mystery of his own identity. Just then, an ice wall separated Logan from the others. It turned out that Rogue and Iceman couldn't bear to leave Logan behind and came back to rescue him, so Logan could only follow them to evacuate the school. After cleaning up the school, Stryker went to Charles' search room and took away the equipment inside. When Charles woke up again, he found himself imprisoned in a secret base. Stryker revealed his conspiracy to Charles. He planned to use the powers of Charles and Jason to create a terrifying illusion 
and kill all the mutants in the world. His son Jason was also a mutant with the powerful ability to create illusions. Because of this power, Stryker's wife was tortured to death by Jason. Since then, Stryker has harbored a deep hatred for mutants. In order to achieve his goals, Stryker is willing to harm his own son. At the same time, Stryker is also conducting cruel experiments and modifications on other mutants. However, there is a variable in this conspiracy that Stryker did not anticipate. And that is Eric. With the information from the plastic prison, Mystique disguised herself as a blonde woman and went to a bar. She easily seduced a prison guard and the two kissed in the toilet. Just as the guard finished drinking the remaining beer, he suddenly lost consciousness. And at this moment, Mystique revealed her true form and injected a tube of liquid metal into the guard's body. The next day, when the guard entered the prison cell to deliver food to Eric, Eric smiled because he sensed the long-lost metallic aura. I saw Eric wave his hand, and the prison guard flew into the air, his body torn apart by metal mixed with blood. With the help of the metal, Eric easily smashed the prison door, and the guards outside quickly withdrew the connecting passage. Eric successfully escaped from the plastic prison. Logan and the others fled to Washington and temporarily hid at Iceman's house. Iceman's brother harbored resentment towards mutants and secretly reported their whereabouts to the police. In no time, a large number of officers surrounded Iceman's house and Pyro directly engaged in a fierce firefight with the police. Fortunately, Storm arrived just in time and successfully rescued everyone. However, shortly after taking off, they were intercepted by the Air Force. Storm decisively displayed her superpowers, and in an instant, the sky became filled with dark clouds. Although they successfully evaded the pursuit, they were still tracked by two missiles. At a critical moment, Jean's Phoenix power awakened and destroyed one missile, but the other one blew a hole in the cabin. Rogue was sucked out of the plane, but fortunately, Nightcrawler reacted quickly and saved her. The fighter plane began to plummet, and just as everyone was prepared for sacrifice, the hole at the tail of the plane suddenly repaired itself. Eric came and saved them. When will these people learn how to fly? After escaping, Eric learned of Stryker's conspiracy from Mystique, so he wanted to join forces with them to stop Stryker. Faced with life or death, Everyone temporarily put aside their grievances and fought together. Jean read Nightcrawler's memories and successfully found the location of Stryker's base. Stryker's base was hidden deep underground, but to enter the base, they had to go through a drainage tunnel. If Stryker discovered someone invading, he would definitely release water into the tunnel. So now they needed someone to infiltrate and shut off the drainage valve. At this moment, Logan stepped forward. He sensed that Stryker had reservations about him and did not intend to kill him. Sure enough, when Stryker saw Logan in the drainage tunnel, he ordered his men to bring him in. When he saw Logan's provocative expression, he realized he had been tricked. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Mystique broke free, defeated the guards, and ran to the control room to close the drainage valve. With the valve closed, Eric and the others successfully entered the base. Seeing the situation was not favorable, Stryker immediately ordered Jason to create illusions to confuse Charles and connect all mutants. While the experiment officially began, Stryker prepared to escape from the base. At the same time, Eric and the others who entered the base split into several groups. Nightcrawler and Storm rescued the imprisoned mutants, while Eric, Mystique, and Jean went to rescue Charles. However, Logan disobeyed orders and secretly went to find Stryker, wanting to uncover the truth about his own origins. Rogue and the others stayed on plane to guard it. On their way to the brainwave amplifier, Eric and the others encountered Cyclops under Stryker's control. Jean told them to go ahead while she stayed behind to hold off Scott. Scott's lasers accidentally triggered Jean's Phoenix power, and both were thrown out. Scott regained consciousness, but the massive energy caused cracks in the dam, and water started flooding into the base. The entire base was in danger and Trask realized this. He quickly started running away with his assistant. On the other side, 
Logan mistakenly entered a secret laboratory while searching for Stryker's trace. Looking at the huge water tank and the scorching metal in front of him, memories started flashing in Logan's mind. Just then, Stryker happened to pass by, and Logan immediately rushed forward, intending to kill Stryker. Unexpectedly, Stryker's assistant easily knocked Logan down. And when Logan got up, he took the opportunity to launch a deadly blow. The two began a fierce fight, but what he didn't expect was that the assistant also had the same self-healing ability as Logan. She broke free from the restraints and started overwhelming Logan with her attacks. Logan grabbed a syringe nearby and stabbed it into the assistant's body, causing her entire body to fill with metal. The assistant couldn't bear it and fell down. Charles had connected with all the mutants and all the mutants who were attacked fell to the ground. <laughs> Only Eric, wearing a special helmet, managed to withstand the attack. He did his best to use his magnetic field to shut down the brainwave amplifier, preventing further disaster. However, Eric had the ambition to eliminate humans. He had Mystique transform into Stryker's appearance and went to Jason to give new orders, instructing Charles to connect the entire human brain and cleanse it. After doing all this, he quickly left the base with Mystique. Outside, Logan caught Stryker who was trying to escape. He wanted to regain his lost memories, but when he turned around, he saw the dam in the distance already collapsing. Logan decided to tie Stryker to the plane and went to rescue his companions first. Not long after Logan left, Stryker encountered Eric who killed him directly. Then, Eric and Mystique flew away in a helicopter. After realizing that something was wrong, Nightcrawler teleported into the brainwave amplification room with Storm. Seeing the pitiful girl in front of her, Storm knew she was trapped in an illusion. Storm unleashed a freezing storm to freeze Jason, and this woke Charles up. But now the base was already flooding and collapsing, so the group hurriedly ran out. On the way, they encountered Logan, who had just returned to the base. Under Logan's lead, they finally managed to escape the base. Boarding the fighter jet, Logan discovered that Pyro was missing. Rogue said he left with Eric. Just as everyone was preparing to leave in the fighter jet, they found that the thrusters were broken. But the flood on the dam was already rushing towards them, and the situation suddenly became critical. In a critical moment, Jean stepped forward and used all her powers to lift the plane into the air. while she herself was submerged by the flood. Charles found the president and handed over the evidence of crimes found in Stryker's office. At this point, the conflict between humans and mutants was temporarily resolved, and they entered a brief period of harmonious coexistence. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.